Hey there, this is Alex of PMW Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel with this month's faith art box called Acts of Prayer. It's written by Julie Cassell and the design is by Danielle Wingham. I am super inspired by this particular topic of prayer and this phrase, communication is key to any relationship, especially with God. That's where prayer comes in, along with that very first reflection question, which says, what is prayer and why is it important? Um, that's what this was inspired my entry today. I know that prayer is an encounter with God and that it builds lasting relationship with him. That's why it's important. And so I noted that here on the devotional and then I decided encounter with God, encounter God in prayer was going to be my focus. This journal you see is actually an add-on this month and I'm literally smelling it because it's made from recycled apples. So if you're interested in grabbing one of those to dive into prayer through a journal, they're available in the shop. This is a stencil and I'm just using black ink. You saw me peel the pad off the back of the ink pad. Uh, I got this idea from someone on the design team who said that way um, you don't use up as many pads and you don't kind of transfer colors from pad to pad. And I knew with the stark black, I didn't want to use my blending brush because I didn't want to like leave a permanent black tint to it. Um, so I knew that this particular um, Tim Holtz blending tool was the way to go. Um, I'm just creating a dark, stark backdrop for the words um, Encounter God that I'm going to use these tie-dye alphas on. Um, I decided to journal here in Luke chapter 22 verses 39 through 46 where Jesus is in the garden praying um, on the Mount of Olives. Um, I got this idea from a video I watched between L Lacey Finn Borgo of Gert Good Dirt Ministries. She wrote a book called Spiritual Conversations with Children. And she had a conversation with Deanna Gemmer of my local church, um, Summit Avenue Presbyterian. And it was called Prayer Conversations, Praying with Children. And I listened in as part of my parenting small group about how to approach prayer with our kids. And she made this statement that prayer is an encounter with God. And then she said, in prayer, we can share what is good, what is beautiful, and what is true. And that that's a great way to teach our children. Well, as she, what prayer is and how to pray. And as she shared that, I, it really resonated with me. What is good, what is beautiful, and what is true? Now, what is true? Um, true is what is authentic, and true is what holds. The things that hold, that are true. And so here you see me using the stamp set. Um, I am going to create three daisies to kind of cluster together for those to represent those three words good beautiful and true um, I did the centers using the little center stamp on the stamp set first with yellow and then I tried overlaying the black over the top um, to be honest I missed the centers I was kind of cockeyed more than I would like so what I would do and what I actually went back and did was I stamped a bunch of black daisies let them dry and then put the yellow um, center over the top. I was worried about the ink, inks mixing, but if you let it dry fully, it's really kind of a non-issue. The other thing that's on the stamp set there is you can see the black daisy, the black petal daisy. That is so you can do colored petals. So you would stamp that in your pink or blue or yellow and then do the black lines over the top. It's really cool stacking capability in this set. Um, I just love the versatility on the stamp set this month. Um, so back to content. Um, I knew this idea of praying by sharing what is good, what is beautiful, and what is true with God um, was what I wanted to emphasize. And also this question that Lacey posed in this uh, recording, which was, what is stirring you? Um, when you look at Jesus in the garden, he shared what held, what, what held, what was true, um, what holds, and what he shared his authentic self his authentic feelings, his knowings with G Jesus did share those things with God. Um, and when he did, Jesus encountered God and he spoke to God what was stirring him. And reading Jesus's prayer here in the garden when he is in the final hours, you know, the, the final day of his life, um, it's pretty profound to realize um, he was crying out to his father. He was sharing what was true. Um, what was good, and even what was beautiful, uh, tragically beautiful. And there's so much, even in this prayer, that we just don't know um, that are we're left to sort of fill in the gaps. And sometimes that not knowing is really uncomfortable. 
um, but sitting in it and crying out in prayer, um, sitting in the unknown for Jesus, his crying out in prayer, is how he and we have encounters with God. And encountering God is how God builds relationship with us. Um, God reveals God's self to us and the relationship deepens in that encounter and it is strengthened and it's how we build a lasting relationship. So I just wanted to highlight those three words by snagging these alphas. They are a creative retreat and so you can check out the description below to know the exact um, sticker pad number. Um, they are kind of wonky letters in both the E in beautiful and later the E in true. I actually used the letter C and just kind of connected it with my pen to turn it into an E. A lot of times those letters you commonly use get used up really fast and so I'm always looking for creative ways to <laughs> reuse letters that I don't use as much. Also I love that this alpha set has um, numbers and symbols so I got to put a question mark where it says what is stirring you. Um, these alphas are some of the most versatile out there. Um, and then this journaling I did is just what I shared with you earlier. Jesus encountered God. He spoke what, what was stirring him. He shared what held his authentic self, his feelings, his knowing. His prayer was what was good, true, and beautiful. Encounter is how God builds lasting relationship. Jesus encountered God. Um, and it's just some thoughts. I ended up attaching um, an additional daisy and a tie-dye heart just to kind of connect my journaling because it's sort of random <laughs> up there on the top right. Um, so adding a little daisy and a heart links it all together, um, kind of unifies the page. And that concludes the entry. I have a date stamp at the bottom. Um, this, I'm going to explore a method of prayer that I also learned from that video later this month. Um, if you like what you see here, if you want to see more of this kit or other creative strategies, ways to use stencils, ways to use um, stamps, this month is a great month to subscribe and tune in to the channel to see the other design team members' videos and how they are using um, blending ink stencils, um, stamps, um, all those goodies, as well as you can find all the links for what I've used in the description below. Um, you can grab the kit there. And mostly I just hope that you are inspired, that you leave encouraged to try something new on the pages of your Bible and to dive into prayer so that you too encounter God and have that lasting relationship with him. Hope you enjoyed. Happy Bible journaling.